friends my name is Dr. Puru Dhawan and in this video we will talk about how much fluid can be taken by a kidney failure patient because in a kidney failure patient amount of right amount of fluid is very important because if a patient of kidney failure take less amount of fluid what will happen the urine formation will drop and as the urine formation drops the ketonin which is getting excreted through urine will also decrease which results in elevation of ketonin in your blood so right amount of hydration in a kidney failure patient is very much second thing is that if a kidney failure patient take lots amount of fluid just to make more amount of urine what will happen this extra amount of fluid will accumulate in his body that will cause edema high blood pressure in that patient which will cause multiple complication in kidney failure patient that's why it's very important for all kidney failure patient to learn what amount of fluid is good for their body because in all kidney failure patient requirement of the fluid is different suppose a patient is living in hot climate the requirement of water will be high if the patient is living in a cold climate the requirement of water will be low if the patient has the occupation to speak a lot the requirement of water will be high so depending upon what kind of body they have what kind of climate they live in what kind of occupation they do requirement of the fluid depends so we have to learn how much water has to be taken depending upon their individual body so at science in Germany, we suggest all kidney failure patients to listen to their senses. If their lips are dry, their throat is dry, that means body is dehydrated. That means we need to hydrate our body with the amount of half cup. That means 50 ml water has to be taken in a single go. If we take so much, small amount of water in multiple frequency, what will happen? There will be no logging of water inside your body. There will be no edema in your legs. There will be no extra accumulation of water and it will also help you to hydrate it will help the body to make urine formation and this urine formation will help your body to excrete out all the waste matter from your body so right amount of hydration is very necessary in all kidney failure patient it's very important if you're feeling any kind of edema in your body especially in the lower extremities that means there is an extra amount of water in your body to remove this extra amount of water from your body we have to work on three factors all together first we have to cut down the amount of water whatever we are taking second thing we have to do is that we have to cut down the amount of salt because salt is something which promotes the accumulation of the water inside the body third thing is that the amount of protein if the protein is low there will be accumulation of the fluid around your lower extremities so we will work on all these three factors all together we will cut down the amount of fluid we will cut down the amount of salt and if we have to go for salt free diet for a few days we will go for that also and we will take the amount of protein if our report shows the amount of protein is low in your blood so we will work on the body depending upon the reports so now you know the importance of hydration in a kidney failure patient. If the level of the fluid goes low, urine formation will drop, the level of ketone will increase. If the hydration is in over, what will happen? It will cause edema in the body. So we have to keep the amount of fluid, right amount of fluid in the body. So always take small amount of fluid and keep the dehydration in check. If you have any kind of question regarding kidney failure, if you have any question regarding how much fluid can be taken, you can simply call our doctors on the number given below. You can also book an appointment with me on the same number. With this, allow me to say goodbye. See you in the next video.